Good evening, Patmos family. My name is Elder Delvin Ferris, and I want to bring a short word to you this evening. The word is entitled, The Powerful Gift. Let us pray. Holy Spirit, we give you the permission right now to empower us, to speak to us. We thank you for the word of Jesus Christ. Now, dear God, I pray that you will bless all the hearers of this word. Speak to them like you have spoken to me. It is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Acts chapter 1, verse 8 reads this way. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. Many of us love gifts, especially knowing that we don't have to work for it or we don't have to pay for it. These gifts are made possible only if you accept it. If I offer you $20 today, you're not automatically $20 richer. You have to accept what I have offered. Understand though that even if you receive or accept this $20, there are some stipulations that comes with you accepting this gift. First things first is that you have got to make some space in your wallet or in your pocket in order to receive or put this thing away safely. We can't just take a gift for granted. We have got to make some alterations in our lives on our person in order to receive the gifts that are offered to us. Jesus has made it clear since the Gospels that he promised that the Holy Spirit will come. Now the Holy Spirit is a reality. He is about to descend on this earth like never before. And Jesus made it clear that they ought to do some things in order to receive this gift. The first thing they ought to do, the Bible says, is that they ought to be obedient. Obedience is very important. It is often says that obedient is the highest form of worship. It is Samuel who said to Saul, to obey is better than to sacrifice. Jesus gave them a command. Don't move from Jerusalem. Stay right here. Because the Holy Spirit is coming. You see, you can't tell God what you want to do in order to receive his gift. You've got to follow his command. Yes, whatever he says is what you ought to do as a disciple of Jesus Christ. It is strange how some people will want Jesus to bless them where they want him to bless them, when he, they want him to bless them, and how they decide he should bless them. But Jesus made it clear to the disciples, the Holy Spirit ain't coming anywhere else but in Jerusalem. So you ought to stay here. The first thing is that you've got to be obedient to God's word. The second thing is you've got to have your focus right. The disciples came to Jesus asking him, are you going to restore Jerusalem? You know, it's strange how many times we want God to bless the things that he ought to destroy. Jerusalem was the same Jerusalem who actually asked for Jesus' crucifixion. Now here is it that they're asking that Jesus establish something that was not really good. Something that was not really representing him. So God told them to refocus. Start focusing on what I've called you to do. And that is the Great Commission. You see, you're not really getting the power of the Holy Spirit until you learn to focus on the things that the Holy Spirit wants you to focus on. He's not just a comforter, but he's coming in to convict the hearts of men so that they may do the things of God. The last thing, the last thing which is very important, is that Jesus wants you not only to be obedient and to refocus, but he wants to make you like him so that you can go to the entire world and give them what God has given to us. God has given us the gift of Jesus Christ. Now the Holy Spirit is going to be given to the disciples so that they now can give the world what God has given to them. We have a same responsibility to give to the world what God has given to us in the man Christ Jesus. So when the Holy Spirit comes, the Holy Spirit comes so that we can be transformed and look like Jesus. Today, I want to encourage you to do one thing for me. Accept the gift of the Holy Spirit. It is worth it. Have a wonderful evening, Patmos family.